I got to number 3 in the entire world in the Royal Tournament using this absolutely incredible 2.9 Elixir Minor Wallbreaker deck. Today's video is about showing you how you should play this deck with the old school Mighty Minor version. Starting off the mission here against Lucas DS. I'm honest with you guys, it's kind of annoying for me to play this type of like, like to play this type of global tournaments because I have a ton of fun competing in the Royal Tournaments because it's always something different. I personally think ladder for me. It's really annoying, it's really stale the last couple of months, so I'm kind of happy to have like this type of tournaments in-game. But my main problem is like the search time and also like the matchmaking, right? Most of you guys don't really notice that, like if you like plan to 20 wins, it doesn't really matter. But the thing is kind of, when you're like at 20 wins, you're just able to face people. Um, or like with higher than 20 wins, you're just going to be able to face people with one win more, one win less or the same amount of wins. And sometimes if you're just like three people in the entire world which you're able to face, it takes like hours, days for you to find any opponents. I was actually trying to push the number one in the world, but I was searching actually like two hours without finding anyone because I could have just like faced three people on the planet. Kind of steals um, the fun. Um, or like where I'm kind of losing the fun and playing Clash Royale. So this guy's playing a really old school deck there. Um, like the good old old school OP Firecracker version. And deck which I feel like is underrated to actually use this deck. I think like once or twice in CL also won both games with the Evo Cracker. Just because I just feel like this deck, it's not really that broken itself. But it feels really salt in the matter. So I'm just going to go for my Miner here. I'm kind of seeing how it's going to respond to that. So I'm just going to go for my Poison Spell here. Salt Poison Spell. Mighty Miner is going to tank. Now I'm just going to go in here. For my wall breaker, we're forcing, forcing out a lock anyway, so this is completely fine. Getting a ton of minor chip, and we got the big spell advantage. He's not gonna have a big spell, he's playing like 2.6, 2.7, the cheap cycle version. I'm just gonna go, okay, that was really, really bad on my end. I shouldn't have played like that, I just should have gone bomb tour, but I didn't expect awesome. Also, him not going like for evil crack. If I would have gone for a bomb tour, it would have been a way better defense. So, I don't know, that was kind of a good move because, I mean, he got a ton of damage, but also a surprising move because I feel like normally most people wouldn't have played this type of fire quicker because I could have just answered with a bomb tour, but I didn't really expect him doing that. So, at the end, I can't really blame him because it worked out for him. So, I need to go bomb tower like this to make sure we're tanking this one this time. I'm just going to go for minor plus wall bringer here in case he wants to go in for a fire quicker. That's exactly what he's going for. So, I just need to also go for my lock here, making sure everything stays alive. You know, I'm just gonna go for the miner here. Hopefully, the mighty miner tanks. Let's go. And this miner will be able to get a ton of trip damage because all of his stuff is kind of the psychic. He needs, needs to play a lock. Otherwise, I think like both of them are connecting. I'm just gonna go for spear guns. This miner's of the psychic. I feel like in triple elixir time, finally, we should have the big advantage there. So I'm just gonna go for miner here. I'm just gonna go for a poison. I just think kind of we hit something maybe. Okay, it's fine anyway because I can just lock um, the cracker off anyway. I'm also gonna use my ability here. Just hope we hit both of them, that's fine. The Mighty Miner is still on the map, which kind of allows us to get like a free cut cycle. And kind of my opinion about the Mighty Miner is Mighty Miner is still fine, but I think like if you used the Mighty Miner a lot before that, you're kind of recognizing the nerf a lot, in my opinion. The nerf was really pretty, 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 pretty big. So I'm just gonna go for my Spear Goblins here. I still need to go for a lock because otherwise the Goblins are gonna just shred the Bomb Tower. And the Miner is doing a ton of damage here. So. This is not looking too bad. I'm just gonna go for minor plus uh, bats here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my wall breaker. Now I'm just gonna go for my mighty mine here. Let's see. He needs to go for a lock, but I think that's okay because the bats would have tanked it, so he decided to go in for bats on his own. I'm just gonna go here for this type of stuff. And now I'm just gonna go for my lock here. Really good lock. Um, really good play overall. Miner's getting a ton of trip damage. Also, the bats are still staying alive. I'm just gonna go for another miner here. And we're looking awesome. I think I can just. Okay, this ability wasn't really perfect. So we need to be. Well, we need to make sure that just like one wall breaker is clicking. No wall breaker is even connecting. This is even better. I'm just gonna go for my lock here. I think I'm just gonna set up this type of bomb toss. Spear gums. One spear gum actually is getting on tower, which is awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna go bats here, making sure, okay, the bomb tower stays alive. I'm just gonna go for my poison spell here. And honestly, right now, just about distracting this type of firecracker. Going for a lock here. First game, first win. I need to say, honestly, really good matchup, especially in Trooper Leaks at the time, because he can't defend minor poison effectively. Next game up here with Daniel, and we're just gonna go for the warbreaker split and kind of finding out how is he gonna respond, which answer he has in his deck. It's gonna be a tornado, could be a lot, could be like a Remy Alley deck, I would say most popular one right now. It seems like it is. I'm just gonna go for my minor, for my bats here. Okay, never mind. It's gonna be Gravy. And honestly, I feel like this matchup got way worse some time ago when they added like this kind of splash radius when your ice wizard spawns because this kind of means bats don't really get too much value anymore. I just feel like in Triple X, I'm absolutely get like out damaged in most of the cases. So I'm just gonna go for my miner here. Miner's getting some decent amount of chip damage, which is great. I'm just gonna go for my bomb tower here, making sure to 
kill the baby dragon. And I'm just gonna go for my spear gums here. Using my bad stat to just clean up all the stuff. He goes in for a tornado here. That's okay, I guess. I mean, it's still so much damage, right? I don't really want to go in for... I'm just gonna go for, like, minor wall breaker opposite lane. Just going for mine on this spot because he doesn't have... It's late in sec anyway, so we're gonna get some minor chip. I kind of always want to defend without poison when I can, like just make him to overspend. Sometimes I have to defend with poison, but overall I just like prefer to do it without because then you still get counter push, this opponent still needs to defend that. And overall I just feel like when you continue poisoning his type of um, stuff and not his troops, you don't really get any tower damage because he got like the ice wizard and the knight as a really annoying defensive stuff against you. So I'm just gonna go for a bats high. Need to go baby dragon. That's what he does. I'm just gonna go for my mighty miner here. And that's fine since the Mighty Miner is doing some counter pressure. And I can just go for a Miner here. Because he kind of needs to drop to play his Ice Wizard. And if he does that, that's fine. And I'm just going to go Miner here because the Miner will be able to kill it with a lock even quicker. So the Miner gets like three shots in the opponent's tower, which is great. And also, you always kind of want to make sure. Okay, just two. Always want to make sure not pushing same lane. This is a really important like thing I kind of learned over the time. You never want to push same lane against any type of Gravier deck because they're just building up type of pushes, pushes so if he's smart he will also try to switch lane soon look at the damage guys spear golems are gonna get nadoed away so this is awesome and i might just go in for my poison spell here so this kind of situation i'm talking about right sometimes you want to go defensive poison i'm just gonna go for mining i'm just gonna go also wall breaker i'm also gonna go play defensive lock here just hope the baby dragon gets targeted really soon it would be awesome baby dragon gets targeted now still a bit lighter than i really wanted so the baby dragon got one splash shot and also was tanking a bit but overall it's still okay his knight is out his ice is out so this is like kind of free minor situation so i'm just gonna go for my mining here i'm also gonna go bomb tower high here playing this big up slow if he's not gonna get any barbarian ball value on top of that he's forced to play tornado i'm just gonna go wall breaker opposite lane baiting out a barbarian ball or just letting him let him be, letting it go so we might be able to also switch lanes still so i'm just gonna exactly what i'm gonna do using my spear gums here i think i'm just gonna go bats okay i think i'm just gonna go take the poison there honestly i think it's a fine poison i'm just gonna go ice wizard i think i'm just gonna go minor plus wallies here i think it's okay minor wallies because he's gonna still force to play something he's gonna go oh he messed up that's one huge shot using my bomb to a low here Goblins. You know, I kind of just want to make sure we're killing that with a bat. So this is great. He doesn't have his um, Nadon cycle anyway. So I'm just going to go for another miner here. Going in for another wall breaker here. He kind of messed up this kite or like this prediction. So my miner gets on tower, gets a ton of decent amount of chip damage. I'm just going to go for spear golems here. And yeah, I'm just going to go mighty miner. I'm also going to go bomb tower here. Most likely we'll just tornado this. If he does that, he's going to go poison there. I'm still going to go poison, I think. I'm just gonna go minor here. Kinda wanna push when he's like also pushing. But we're making sure, okay, that he doesn't have anything against his against my minor. So I'm just gonna go for my really low lock here, making sure to kill everything. Great, 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 great lock. And now we're in a great position. I'm just gonna go for another minor here, keeping up the pressure. As we should really interesting tornado. I think he misplaced that. And now I think we're looking great. I can just go poison here. I think this guy also gave up GG's where I played also victory in Triple X time. Sometimes it can be really, really clutchy, so you kinda always wanna push opposite lane. Just when you have like a great situation where it's great elixir, like the free cut cycle is really important with the mighty miner on the map. But yeah, GG's well played. But if you guys have the night evolution, I would always play that. But in global tournament evolution isn't available, even as I thought that, so I used the mighty miner there. Next game up here versus loss, and I just hope he will also lose this game. So he just decides to go and for his mortar there. So mortar spear gums could be like a mortar miner control deck, could be just like mortar bait. I feel like it's more, more likely mortar bait because he got spear gobs in his deck. Okay, I'm just gonna go miner there. Catching the cracker, hopefully. Exactly. I'm using also my. Okay, that was a really smart log because the cracker actually survived. So, really good log. Okay, I need to go bomb tower like this. Hmm. A bit annoying, but I think it's like one of the best bomb tower placements right now against the type of Skelly King to make sure that his ability doesn't get too much value. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my bats here. Really smart. Um. But Baron Brawl, but I can just go now for my wall breaker here, just like kind of counter bush and get see if he decides to go in for a mortar. That's what he does. Okay, to be fair, really smart mortar. Maybe I should have played a bit more defensive. So you got like a really good damage lead, something you don't really want to see against mortar bait. Um, you kind of want to control the game as you always kind of want to do with minor control, but sometimes it's not possible when you're messing up and play a bit too aggressive. This is exactly what we did. I'm playing control with this kind of control spam. 
being behind is nothing you really want to see. So I'm just going to go for my Mighty Mine. I need to go Log here. I think I also messed up the Log. No, I didn't. Of course, the plan now is just going same lane. Using my Poison here. I think next up he gets the Evil Quaker. Or I don't know. Does he have Evil Quaker or Evil Mortar? I would say more Evil Mortar, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Goes on for this. This is fine. I'm just going to use my ability still. Getting most of that. Using... I think I need to go. You still go Bomb Tower here. At least my Mighty Miner gets some trip damage, even if it's not as much as it used to be. Still better than nothing. I'm just gonna go for my Wall Breaker here. Bomb Tower is still on the map, so... Okay, he's using his Mortar. Okay, he doesn't have his Mortar ability, otherwise he would have had it already. Like his Evolution, because he played his third Mortar. I'm just gonna go Spears here. I'm just gonna go Log there. Let's go Mighty High. Wall Breaker like this. Okay, he got a Firecracker. Poison spell. Great poison spell. Great minor chip, minor connection there. Chipping down this tower below. Okay, I'm just gonna go lock here. 2.6k HP, so also really good play there. I'm just gonna go for my spear guns, just playing it like this. That the bomb tower bomb is also making sure to kill most of the skellies from the skelly king ability. Okay, now I'm just gonna go for wallies like this. Perfect. I'm just gonna go mine on top of the spear gun. We got like a really solid push there with the wall breaker also counter pushing. Also the bats, you shouldn't really underestimate them. I'm just gonna go in for my lock there. Really good lock. Just using my spear gobs low. I'm just gonna go for minor plus wally here. And oh, the F4 for one second that the wall breaker would escape and go on top of the tower. I'm just gonna go for another mighty miner here, controlling once again the situation. I'm just gonna go poison spell. To be careful here. I don't really want to use my ability. Okay, I'm just gonna go wall breaker. Bats. Minor. It's fine. Even if the mortar gets one shot, I'm completely fine with that. Using this, using my bomb tower now. Mortar will evening will even up the situation. Okay, let's see. Is he gonna barbarian brawl that? Okay, I'm just gonna go poison this. Great poison. Just gonna go. Uh, will you see to kind of distract it? Also, gets like connection on tower, I think. Maybe, yes, locked there. Got another bomb tower on hand. So, oh, I would say also, this matchup is really good. He doesn't even have minor, right? So, he just got like the he just got like the um scape and the mortars in main wing condition. So, I don't really think we need to worry too much about it. I'm just gonna go for a poison spell here plus a minor. And yeah, we're just chipping him out. Like, honestly, normally you kind of think, okay, in Triple Elixir time, right? Minor Wall Breaker isn't really too strong, but in most of the matchups, like, Minor Poison is just, like, so unbeatable in Triple Elixir, especially when you have the free card cycle of the Mighty Mine. This is kind of what I like against this type of control decks, getting into Triple Elixir time, because as you guys can see, we're looking so, so good. I honestly can just go in for my Miner here. I could also use the ability if I get it down. No, I don't, but the Miner's on tower. I can just go for the Lock here. And honestly, I can just go for another Miner here. What is he supposed to do, right? He can just go for Fireball in. The corner, that's a good play. We're winning this one. GG's well played. Next up. Next game. Next next game up. That's that's what I want to say. Next game up here against, I don't know, Light Zero. That's his clan at least, so we're just gonna call him Light Zero. So I'm just gonna go for a miner here. Trying to tank for this one boy, and I think skeletons are enough. Okay, so honestly, if I see like Valkyrie Zap skeletons, most likely gonna be like balloon cycle deck. And okay. It's gonna be balloon cycle, so I need to go for good bats here. Please execution down slash my tower for no reason. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. Going for miner here. Goes unfortunately also zap, but it's okay because he committed so so much elixir. He got back to Valk now, but still look at the damage, guys. Look at the damage, guys. It's not bad. I'm just gonna go bats. Unfortunately, I don't have miner again. It would have been awesome, but I'm still gonna go go for wall breaker there. Because I know he doesn't have the best responses, so he goes in like for this. Does he have like back? No, he's not back! And we got him, guys. We outcycled him. We outcycled all of his answers. He didn't have anything. No zap. Execution was like too um, expensive in this type of situation. No Valkyrie. No Tornado. So really good situation. I can just go Miner here. The only one uh, uh, response he has is an Execution. Or like an own defensive Miner. Which I would never love to play in this type of situation. He still played it, but he didn't even catch a Miner. So I can just go for a Mighty Miner. Free cut cycle. And just like everything I need because he can't really push also. I think I'm just gonna take the poison here because like poison log ability from a mighty miner almost kills it. So nothing really to worry about. Might even kill it. I'm just gonna go for my ability here. 
think it even kills it. Oh, that's crazy, guys. But to be fair, it wasn't really too important. If he goes in for Zap, I can just go in for my Spears. I might not even need it. So I might just go Wall Breaker here and just go pre lock on top of the Skeleton. So he's like kind of forced to play Tornado. Or oh, he's going to play Tornado anyway, but he's not trying to go for the King Dagger range. So I think it's still fine. Going for Minor Bats here. Okay, great Skeletons. Played by him, but he still needs to go for an Axie. Or a Valkyrie. I don't know about this Valkyrie. Now he cycles back to an Ice Spit. Still two big Minor shots. Going now for my Mighty Miner here. And making sure that we're pressuring him. Okay, he's going to go in for this. So I need to be careful now. I'm just going to go for my Log. Okay, I kind of want to go now for my Wallies here. Yeah, I'm also going to go Miner. I mean, to be fair, it's not optimal situation because the XD Shrine did some damage, but it's not too bad because look at the damage on the left side, right? So, we're not looking too bad. I'm also going to still use the ability because I know my Mighty Miner will get some decent amount of damage if he's not responding to it perfectly. So, I need to go Bomb Tower now. I just hope the Balloon gets targeted. Balloon gets targeted, which is massive. I'm just going to go Wallis here in case he goes in for a Tornado. He goes in for a Tornado. Oh, that was really close, actually. This guy is, like, really playing well right now. But he doesn't know the wall break interaction, uh, interaction. This is of course a big advantage. You should know that like if you tornado them away uh, um, out of tower range, that one of these wall breakers will always connect. So GG is well played. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to check another video out. Goodbye. Peace out.